Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. So, uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at the astronomical telescope. Now, in the previous video, we look at how uh, the instrument that is used to view objects that are too small to be seen by the eye. What of if you want to view objects that are too far to be seen by the eye? For example, the distance stars. So, in this, we use what we call the astronomical telescope. So, the astronomical uh, telescope, like the microscope, consists of two lenses. But unlike the micro uh, compound microscope, the objective lens, the focal length of the objective lens is longer than that of the eyepiece. Now, the image, uh, the object is from a distance that is, look at this, from infinity. This has rays of light coming from infinity. Now they will be formed at the focal length of the objective lens. So this is where the first image will be formed. Now this eyepiece then we tend to magnify this object. So it will form a ray. And this is where the final image will be formed. So which is magnified and inverted and of course it is what virtual so from this now we can see that if from year to year that's the focal length from year to year is the distance that is the focal length of the objective lens and this short distance is the focal length of the object that's why i said the focal length of the objective lens must be greater than that of the eyepiece. So the distance between the two lenses is given at this. And the angular magnification is given at the focal lens, focal length of the uh, objective lens over the focal length of the eyepiece. So that's just this about the astronomical lens. And this condition is this is used when we have the normal adjustment. So for normal adjustments, we have this. Now when it is not in normal adjustment, the image, uh, instead of forming at the focal length, you are going to have the image form at infinity. Now this example, an astronomical telescope in normal use as an angular magnification of 3. So f is 3. And the lengths are at distance, distance of 24 centimeters apart. So the distance between the lenses, that is f0 plus fd, is equal to 24 centimeters. So calculate the focal length of the lenses. So now magnification is 3, and we have that the magnification is given by f0 over f. Now, from the first equation, we have that f0 is equal to 3f. If you cross multiply this, you have f0 to be equal to 3f. So this is, let's say this is uh, equation 2, equation 1, and uh, let's call this equation 3. Now let's fix this equation 3 into equation 2. So in doing that, we are going to have 3FE plus FE is equal to 24. Then 4FE is equal to 24. FE is equal to 24 over 4, which is 6 centimeters. Then from uh, equation 3, we can now get F0 is equal to 3 times our Fe, which is 6, which is 18 centimeters. So, you can see that this has confirmed that the focal length of the objective lens must be greater than this. So, F0 is far greater than uh, Fe. So thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more. See you next time.